it's essential that we use the scientific process to guide how we implement treatments. That's what we mean by evidence-based care or evidence-based treatment. We mean that there have been well-done studies to prove that an intervention has the effect we're looking for. The best model that we think of right now for treating addiction is what we call a chronic care model. We're very fortunate because we have medications that are effective and that have been FDA approved. The medications that we have that are available for opioid use disorder include methadone, naltrexone, and buprenorphine. The evidence actually shows us that when you compare tapering or detoxification against maintenance on a medication, that detoxification is actually a risk for death. That once someone is detoxified, they're at very high risk for relapse their tolerance has been reset so that the drug that they took once before without any difficulty can now kill them. So it's really not uncommon for people leaving circumstances like jail or a detoxification program to come out and then have a fatal overdose within their first week of release. Medication-assisted treatment is life-saving and it is in no way substituting one addiction for another. You see people who have a substance use disorder actually go into remission on medication, which means that you have no signs or symptoms of the disease, just like you would with cancer. You want your patients with cancer to go into remission too and have no signs or symptoms. We can administer buprenorphine um, in the emergency department. And then with having set up this relationship with treatment programs, we can give them the first dose in the emergency department. And then either that same day or next day, they get into that long-term treatment program. The research that was has been done so far is showing that patients are staying in treatment longer. It's, it's much more effective if you get them started as soon as possible in the emergency department when they're most receptive to treatment. The medications actually, the um the foundation of treatment upon which other um, treatments can be added. The medication treats the withdrawal, the medication decreases the craving, the medication stabilizes the level of physical dependence, the medication prevents someone from having a fatal overdose. MAT stabilizes them to give them the opportunity to do group therapy or individual therapy or both and also get that support from family and friends who are there for them so that they have a network providing them with encouragement and the ability to call if there's um, a chance that they're reaching a trigger. And basically, after they've been stabilized on MAT, they do really well in group or individual counseling.